Hi everyone! Welcome to Saturday's Stitch Explorers tutorial. This week's stitch is called the Lotus Bud Stitch. This is a stitch that my friend Lily over at Lilianette Crochet came up with. It's super beautiful. Oops, sorry. And it has a great little like ridge to it. Um, I'll show it up closer a little bit. It's very similar to the peak stitch, which is one we did a couple weeks ago in the stitch tutorial series, but it's just slightly different. And she's offering up a 25% coupon for a spa set that she did with this stitch plus a few other techniques that you'll learn if you get the pattern. It's 25% off. You can use the coupon code LOTUSBUDLOVE. And I'll put all those links down in the description below and a link to her pattern shop and all that. So what I did to start the stitch, um, I'm using a boy hook for four millimeter G hook and I'm using I Love This Cotton, which is a thin kind of a, kind of a light worsted so you can see the stitch better. I started off with a foundation single crochet row because it stretches. I worked up a one with just a chain and even with the foundation row, this stitch here kind of bunches it up a little bit. So you want to use a foundation single crochet and I'll put the link down below. However, if you want to use a chain, you're welcome to do that too. I chained 20 or, or I worked up 20 foundation single crochet for this. So go ahead and work up your 20, pause the video and come back and then I'll show you how to do this beautiful stitch. All right, so to start off, we're going to pretend that this is our foundation row or our chain. Um, of course, if you're working a chain, you're going to work into the third chain from the hook. You don't have to worry about multiples with this stitch because eat, there's no, you can do as many multiples, odd or even, it doesn't matter because there's one stitch per, per stitch, basically. So for our second row, we're going to chain two turn and I'm going to get just a little bit closer. So here's our first stitch here. We're going to yarn over first, insert your hook into the stitch, grab a loop and pull up so you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two of those loops, then you're going to wrap around again, insert into the same stitch you just worked, pull up a loop, you'll have four and then you yarn over and pull through all four on your hook. Super easy. So we're going to work another one into the next stitch. So yarn over first, insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, you'll have four, yarn over and pull through all four. And that's how the entire stitch works. That's the lotus bud stitch. So super simple. I'll work a few more so you can get the hang of it. I'm working outside today, so if you hear a bunch of noise, planes, trains, cars, and automobiles, I hope you don't mind. I just like sitting outside. It's so pretty today. It's beautiful. All right, so there's your lotus bud stitch. It really makes a beautiful fabric. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave any questions or comments below and go ahead and scrub, subscribe to that channel. Put the little bell button so you can get notified for all our Saturday stitch tutorials and more tongue twisters. Just kidding. So, and I'll leave all the links below so you can get, um, see what Lilinette has in her shop and the 25% coupon. Thanks guys, happy crocheting, have a great day and a happy Easter.